Okay, gang, we're back, and we are here at JTEC um, Institute for Automotive Technology. And what I'll be doing on this video is I'll be showing you how to test your brake fluid for contamination. So, bear with me a little bit. It's going to take me a second to get this together. So, here we go. Okay, so now to know what kind of brake fluid the manufacturer recommends, which this manufacturer recommends a DOT brake fluid, you can find that on the cap from the uh, master cylinder container. And when we're doing the um, test with the DVOM meter to check for water contamination in the brake fluid, we're going to want to make sure that we turn the DVOM on, make sure that it's connected correctly. And if, give me a second. I got to adjust this so that you can see that. See where I'm working at. Okay, this is <coughs> the brake booster, and this is the master cylinder container. This is our brake fluid container. This is our DBOM. We're going to turn this on to volts because we want to see what kind of corrosion is in it. And with that, we're going to take that and we're going to put the red lead directly into the brake fluid. And then we're going to touch the outside housing and watch our bolts go crazy. And we're getting a reading of somewhere around 155 volts in this brake fluid, which tells us there's not a lot of water going on in there, so it's not contaminated. Um, sorry, that's millivolts. I apologize. I'm not reading the thing. It was 155.6 millivolts. So, with that, that is how we test our uh, brake fluid in these three different ways. And again, I'm going to show you one more time how the test came out with the card on the brake fluid. If you notice the little red square on the test strip is the same color as this pink corrosion right there that tells us that the corrosion level is very low and that that brake fluid is good and we'll be able to use that until it gets really bad and really bad at this point required service is going to be at around 200 100 to 200 which will be these two dark colors right there so hang out and i will be right back with you in a minute so that i can explain the dot formulas there okay